and Sony PlayStation 3 4. Uh, last time we unlocked the door with the soldier's key. There was a bunch of skeletons and there was a bunch of turtles and there was an NPC invader. All around pretty good time, you know, you know. I've had, I've had worse dates. But yeah, it was a giant pain in the ass because the summon that I summoned um, kind of didn't do a whole lot, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, oh well. NPC summons are still new and in their infancy. You can't rely on them for everything. <coughs> Excuse me. But either way, uh, we got them. Uh, there was a bunch of items that we could pick up. We picked up a bastard sword. We picked up a whip. Uh, we picked up some amber herbs and some other stuff like that. So lots of good stuff. I don't think there's a secret wall over here. I feel like there should be, but there's not. Um, yeah, we got all that stuff. And the NPC invader was pretty powerful. We took care of him. Uh, these guys are doing their best to take care of me. Goodbye, sir. Alright, uh, ooh, Winged Spear again. Nice. We get Power Sansos if we had the stats for it. But I think this, I think the strength requirement is high enough that I'm not gonna... No, 11. So we would need, what, 16 strength and then 27 dex? I mean, we'll get the dex naturally. But we'd have to pump a few points into strength in order to Power Stance it. Alright, uh, you guys are there. I wonder if, uh, Gung Ho is gonna come after us. He might. Uh, I'm not seeing him. Because where was that one guy that attacked us from, like, 12 feet away? I see the turtle. I'm going to ignore the turtle. And instead, we're going to go to this door right here, which will take us to the boss. I'll pop a life gen before we get to the boss. Not terribly worried about it in the meantime. Just want to make sure that guy's not going to come up behind us. Now, the boss is going to be the same guy we fought and died to on the platform upstairs. Uh, the pursuer, uh, and he will. Yeah, he, he he's he's definitely difficult, but he's not unkillable or anything. He's just uh, got a lot of health. If you can parry, you'll be fine in that fight because you can parry him. And while you can't, um, what while you can't follow up with a critical hit, what you can do is sit there and attack him for uh, about five seconds while he's stunned from the. From the parry. So if you're good at parrying, go for it. If you're not good at parrying, like me, well, GG scrub. I think the first time I played the game, I was so bad at this guy that these guys all despawned by the time I beat him. So, yeah. Got ourselves a life gem. And we also have some summons down here. I don't know if I'm going to summon anybody for the uh, the fight, but we might. Let's see. Um, isn't there supposed to be somebody right here? Oh, I don't. Th I don't think I'm fully human. I don't think I have a. I, th I think. I th no, I, no, I, I popped the life gem, or I popped the uh, human effigy before I before I left Medulla. That's why I have full health. Huh. I thought there was someone up here that wanted to uh, help me with the fight. Like an NPC, but I guess not. Okay, let's just go ahead and take on Mr. Pursuer. If you like his sword or his shield, uh, those are the two items you can get from uh, using or turning in his boss sword. So, pretty cool. Okay, that hurts. Uh, let's see. Let him do a little dash right there. Yeah, uh, that combo right there is a real pain in the ass because it tracks super well. And the fact that he floats is kind of weird, but it gives him very... He has very good mobility, very good tracking on his abilities, and whatnot. 
Uh, if I hadn't got hit by that first like uh, attack that I needed to heal from, I would have kept up the same strategy of just uh, rolling around him and getting my shots in that way. I might try to parry him, but I'm not terribly great at parrying in this game, so... I, I can parry these guys every once in a while, but the rest I'm not terribly... Uh, confident in. I think the buckler still has the, the best parry frames if I wanted to try. We're obviously not going to need the bow for the fight, so take that off. There we go. There we go. I want you guys to show up, and I might try to practice parrying on one of you guys. I have gotten parries off in the game, I'm just not that great at them, so. Come on. And you swiped your shield at me instead of attacking me like a jackass. Come on, guy. Okay, this guy is being a douche. You piece of shit! Oh, that little triple poke is the worst. I, I fall for it all the time. Yeah, there's a reason why I don't parry in this game. Uh, the, uh, the timing for each Souls game changes the parries, like, just enough so if you're good in one of them, you might be good in the rest, or you might be complete shit because they change the parry timing and you don't know what the parry timing is for... Dark Souls 3 or 2 or 1 or Demon Souls or Bloodborne or whatever. I'm curious if this guy will actually follow me all the way over here. I hope he doesn't because that'd be great. But he might. I should be a lot better at fighting the pursuer than I am, and honestly, in my um, in my file where I tried out dual wielding uh, falchions to see if I would actually be able to, you know, do anything with it, I actually did get up to and beat the pursuer on that particular file, so I can do it. He's just being a pain in the ass. There you go. Get rid of you. Pop our life gems. Uh, a good thing with life gems, uh, kind of like in uh, Bloodborne, is if you're running low and you have extra souls after a level, don't try to don't try to farm for don't try to don't try to get any uh, extra souls to get that level. Just uh, spend them on life gems. That that the uh, merchant in Medulla goes well. It's not a bad idea. You. Are the worst. You have a bow. Die. Alright. There we go. I don't have to worry about my souls. So that's nice. Uh, these, these ballistas, if you stun him and he's in front of a ballista, uh, you can run up to the ballista and activate it and shoot it at him. And that's actually going to do like 90% of his health. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, good. He says I'm not going to parry him. Him uh, destroying those is probably the best case uh, because otherwise I'll get stuck on him. And it's not going to be great. Yeah, if you're not good at parrying, just uh, go around. Okay, that attack right there, like I said, it's a grab attack. You want to not get hit by it. Uh, if he hits you on the ankle, if he hits you on your pinky toe, it counts as him hitting you. And, well, 
it'll do lots of damage. It, I, I don't remember exactly how much damage it does, but again, it also inflicts the curse status, which basically says, well, it doesn't kill you right out, like in uh, Dark Souls 1. It uh, reduces your health as if you die. So, you want to watch out for that. Oh, and you can't knock him off the edge because he's floating, so there's that too. That third hit, that's the one that gets me all the time. When he does that stab, that's a good chance for you to get any heals off if you need them. So. If you would destroy this uh, barrel, that'd be great. By the way, just because he can't fall off the ledge, doesn't mean you can't, because you can totally fall off the ledge. Almost got him. Ah, he got me with his fucking grab attack. Yeah, it does a fair amount of damage. And see how we lost a bit of our maximum health there. There you go. Got him. There we go. Yeah, that's what Curse does. It basically says, you lose a little bit of health like you died. Soul of the Pursuer, Ring of Blades. The Ring of Blades is actually real nice. Um, it adds like a flat, I want to say 25 damage or 20 damage. And then the plus 2 version adds like 30 or 35. And then the uh, plus 2 version, I'm sorry, the plus 1 version adds like 30 or 35. And then the plus 2 version adds uh, 50. So it's just a flat attack boost. And that is fantastic. And I don't know if the Stone Ring is actually doing anything for me. So... I'm just going to go ahead and put on the Ring of Blades. Uh, let's see, we can... Yeah, see, it just uh, raises our attack by 20 points right there. So, real nice. Just real good for extra damage there. And then the uh, Soul of the Pursuer, uh, you can use it to get the Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword that he has, uh, which is pretty good, and you can get his uh, Great Shield, which is also pretty good. Or you can eat it for, like, 9,000 souls or something like that. So, all good options. I think I'll save the. I think I'll save it just to have options uh, in case I want to use his items at any point. But I'm not going to use it for souls right now. That's for sure. Uh, right down here, you want to go here uh, before you go up to that little ledge right there. Because when you go to that little ledge right there, uh, the bird that carried him in will carry you to the next area. And you want to watch out for that. I mean, the next area is not that bad. And it has some good stuff in it, but we're going to go do the other starting area. Right down here, you 100% want to go this way, especially if you're playing like a strength build or something like that. Or you have lots of endurance. You get the Drain Lake Sword, Drain Lake Shield, Mail, Gauntlets, and Leggings. You don't get the Helm, but you get everything else. And all this is actually really good armor. It's pretty heavy, but it is really good, so... Hey, idiots. Morons. You. Okay, I need to have a better dodge because I keep not having enough room to dodge out of that. I think it's because I start from far enough away that it's, uh... a bit of a problem. But yeah, you right there with that extra damage from the Ring of Blades, you saw that we killed that guy slightly faster. So, a real worthwhile piece of armor, or ring, if you are a melee character at all. So, good stuff. Uh, yeah, we do want to go... We do want to go uh, <clears throat> get dragged off by the bird, uh, just so we have access to the upcoming area. Because, you know, why not? Why not? 
Goodbye, sir. Uh, while we're here, let's take a look at that uh, Dring Lake stuff, because, again, that's pretty good stuff there. Uh, let's see. The Dring Lake sword is... Where are you? Okay, so it is a great sword. I forgot, I forgot that much. But it is... Great sword of Drummond, Royal Army Captain. An old and unadorned sword, perhaps, with the blade, pride and joy of his venerable... This venerable captain. And everyone passed from grandfather to father, and then from father to son, Drummond and those before him used his sword to repel those who would threaten the great land. So, not bad. It's definitely... Oh, it's got better deck scaling than I thought. Wow. I did not realize it had that good... Hang on. I thought this was like a pure strength weapon. Either that or I just forgot that it had any um, scaling like that. That's pretty good. Um... Uh... So, okay, so this will upgrade with Twinkling, Twinkling Titanite. Uh, it'll stay a C scaling and an A scaling, and it goes up to 280 damage at plus 5. But you can also turn it into, like, a Magic Dring Lake Sword or Fire Dring Lake Sword or something like that. Or you could add more bleed to it or something like that. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Um... If I had the strength for it, that might not be bad, but 25 strength on a dex character is a bit much. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. Uh, let's see. Yeah, pretty fast, actually. Yeah, I don't think I ever used this, because... I just never did, so... That was, that was a weird R2. It kind of, like, paused for a second after that. I wonder what that is, that, that pause after that first R2. Let me try following it up with, like, an R1 or something. No? It just does a weird pause. I don't know. But I guess if you're a quality character, this can be pretty good. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, the Dragon Lake Shield... That is actually real good. It requires 16 strength, but look at those blocks. 100% block, 70 magic, 55 fire, lightning, uh, 35 dark, and then not great on the poison, bleed, uh, petrify, or instant death, I think that is, but still pretty good. And 55 stability is actually quite nice. It's one of the higher stabilities for a non-great shield, I think. So if you're a strength character, or you have 16 strength, uh, yeah, this is an excellent shield. It'll carry you for quite a while. I think it does upgrade with, um, I think it does upgrade with Twinkling Titanite, though, so that's the big problem with that. Um, so, that, like I said, if it upgrades with Twinkling Titanite or the other one, it takes, um, 15 to upgrade. But, it is powerful. So, uh, let's see, Dring Lake Shield, where you have my dude, uh, yeah, it, up it upgrades the Trinkling Titanite, okay. And then, you also have access to the Dring Lake stuff. Which, again, is pretty heavy. Not as heavy as the turtle, but even better defense-wise. Look at that. You half the weight and, what, almost 50% better? Yeah. Real nice. I mean, they're still heavy compared to other gear, but if you're a big strength character with lots of uh, equipment load and such... Go, go for it. And they don't have the 14 strength requirement, so... I guess if you just have any equip load at all, you could wear it, I guess. You don't have to be a strength character. You could be a you could be a dex character with a big pimpin' equip load and put that shit on. I don't know why it says it scales with, um... Huh. I never, I never realized the armor actually scaled. Or if it did, again, something I forgot. But yeah, apparently you get extra bonuses with the, um... Higher strength stat or something, I guess. Huh. Neat. Either way, I'm sticking with the Wanderer coat because 
we're fine where we are. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're only at 20 minutes. Perfect. This gives me a chance to do uh, something else. Uh, let's go ahead with... We killed this guy. I don't think this tree has a seed of giants, though. Yeah, nothing happened. Uh, remember this tree and the other tree that were being attacked by Dring Lake soldiers earlier? Because those will be important way, way, way later in the game, like the very end of the game. So, remember those eventually. This bird don't care who he picks up and drags off somewhere. Alright, we're here. Let's grab the bonfire and the two chests. I think if you're playing the original version of the game, uh, there's an NPC over here. But they moved her slightly forward in the level in this version, I think. I think right here we get an item that's... useless. Or maybe not useless, but uh, less useful. Dull Ember? No, that's actually really good. Uh, that will let the second blacksmith that we find, in this zone actually, um, to upgrade your weapons uh, more than the guy in uh, Medulla will. Like, the guy in Medulla will still upgrade your weapons to the highest level, but he won't be able to do anything special with it. So, there we go. Alright, uh, let's go back to Medulla. No. Excuse me. And, yeah, let's go ahead and grab some levels. We should be good, since we didn't spend the levels from the last giant. We didn't spend the souls from the last giant on levels. That's what I'm trying to say here. Bearer of the curse. Seek, seek. Yeah, yeah, seek, seek, seek. Uh, let's see. How many can we get? We can get seven levels. Okay, I can deal with that. So let's go... I want to get up to... Four, uh, I want to get these four levels in vitality just to have the equipment load if we need it. Um, we got three more levels. Uh, that'll give us almost a hundred, almost a hundred more health. And then we need a hundred more. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. So I want to try to go get that damn item at the bottom of the well again. Bear, seek, seek, lest this. Let's grab one more level of health there. There you go. And I think this should make it so we can survive that other fall. I hope. And if not, I'm going to be upset. And we'll have to come back later. With uh, stacking... Um, uh, stacking items for fall damage reduction. Alright, blue hair, don't care, let's go. Let's not follow our death, please. That'd be fantastic. Perfect. All right, and then we want to go right over here. And then... Perfect, perfect. And then pop you. There we go. 
Now, we're either going to survive this fall or we're going to not survive. Um, you know what? Let me see if I can get to that ledge with the locked door. And if I can get to that ledge with the locked door, uh, that'll make um, trying to get to it slightly easier, I think. So let's do that. Also, while we're here, let's buy a couple more life gems, just so we don't have any souls at all. There we go. Thank you. Alright, try this again. Yeah, because that might just be a... A fall that we need more um, fall damage reduction to survive. I'm not sure. Let's not fall off the edge. Thank you, game. Um, actually, we might be able to. We might be able to hit this one right here. No, that's too high. Okay. Damn. Yeah, so if that one's too high, then the one that, uh... The other one is going to be too high as well. Okay. We can still get to it, it's just going to be a pain in the ass. We might actually have to platform better. Okay. Um Yeah. Okay. Can I just see what we got to do? Right here. Now I think that's the survivable fall. It's just uh hmm. I don't have any prism stones, do I? No. Okay, that's survivable, but it's kind of risky. Okay, and that should make that jump right there easier, but that tiny little ledge we gotta land on, that'll be a problem. This should be the locked door. Yeah, this is locked. We can't do anything with this yet. Okay, so right there. Uh, I think if we roll, we might be able to get it. Perfect. Okay, good. And this right here. Ooh. Close. There we go. Ring of the Evil Eye plus one. So the Ring of the Evil Eye, uh, just the basic one, uh, gets you 30, 30 kills uh, per enemy, or 30 HP per enemy kill. Uh, the plus one version gives you plus 50, and then if you manage to get the, uh, the plus two version, that gives you plus 80, so real nice. Now, the benefit of doing this now instead of later is this means you don't have to do it later, because that makes life much easier. I mean, you're going to have to do it at some point, so it might be easier later just because you'll have more health. Um, Trying to remember where the nearest bonfire is, because I want to get the bonfire here so we don't got to come back to this place later. Uh, but the bonfire might be... We, we might still have to redo this jump later then, because um, I don't want to spend too long down here. I just want to get in and get out. Let's see, you're slightly heavier. Yeah, the leather gloves are slightly heavier.
I might put on like one or two heavy pieces of equipment just for the extra stats. Like, you know, the Dragon Lake Gauntlets will uh, keep us in the high spirits there. Let's see, if we put on you and then we put on, let's just say if we put on the Dragon Lake Shield right there. Uh, we need a 16 or whatever. Uh, and then we put on the, um, yeah, we're still at 50%, so that's still pretty good. Wonder Woman Shits. That would put us very close to 70%. Uh, so I don't think that's as worth it. So let's just go back to... Hmm. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep on the Wonder Gear for the most part. Uh, with the Ring Lake Gauntlets for the extra... There we go. That should work. Alright, uh, Mr... There you go. Yeah, got you, Titanite Shard, Large Shard, and Dark Knight Stone. Uh, Dark Knight Stone, that lets you infuse your weapons with Dark, I do believe. So that's nice. Uh, let's grab you. As soon as we find a bonfire, we're warping out of here. Uh, that item right there is a pain in the ass to get, and I don't remember how to get it. Ash Knuckle Ring. If that's the one that I think it is, that's also a really good ring. Um... Uh, increases petrification resistance. No, that's not the one I was thinking of. Okay, uh, grab you. Uh, let's see, Corinthy ring and you. And instead of the cat ring for now, we're gonna put on our ring of the evil eye. So that'll be nice. Um, we don't need it yet, and we might still be taking some fall damage here. So let's do that. Uh, let's see if I can jump over there, that'd be great. But yeah, it's a it's a pain in the ass jump to make. Just Bear that in mind. Homeward Bones. You, uh, these guys, they explode. So you want to be careful for these assholes. Because they explode and they do a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, some of these guys explode and they do durability damage. Which is a real pain in the ass in this game. Because if they do the durability damage, uh, you'll basically break all your equipment. And you'll have to go to the armorer and spend a bunch of souls to recover everything like the lower tier stuff like the I think like the falchion it's not going to give you as big of a repair bill as how far down is this yeah, actually I know how far down the bonfire is actually now I'm thinking about it won't give you like as big of a uh, repair bill as like a boss weapon but it'll still cost like 2,000 souls or something to repair it so uh you what are you oh you're one of those guys from upstairs we can kill you real fast I think um it's not going to be the most fun I've ever had in my life, but we can kill you. Yeah, you're the, you're the guy that was guarding the uh, the king's door. Uh, those are those are uh, basically just called the king ring door because well, you need an item called the king ring in order to actually get in there. Guy, are you trying to like stay in the? Uh... He's he, this guy's a douche. He he, he wants to stay in the. Uh... He wants to stay in the Merc. He refuses to go out. I mean, I refuse to go out, but that's because I'm broke. I mean, but I don't refuse, I just usually don't. Ooh, Cyan's armor. Nice. I don't know if I've had that drop before. Sublime Bone Dust. This is another good reason to come down here. That will increase the potency of your Estus Flask, adding 50 more points to the amount that he heals. So from plus one, it'll go from 550 to 600. So, real nice. Uh, Cyan's Armor. Where is that? Right there. 13 pounds. So, not anywhere near as good as the Drain Lake stuff, but still pretty good. Replica of the armor of the Loyal Knight Cyan. The solidly crafted gear offers high defense. Sir Cyan was widely known as the kingdom's most leal knight, and one of the giants evaded to volunteer to lead the advanced party, but was slaughtered most dishonorably. The king commissioned replicas of Cyan's accoutrements and bestowed them to promising knights, but not long after they donned the armor, did they go thoroughly mad. So, yeah, I don't, I don't want to go mad, so I'm just going to, you know, not. Okay, looks like we might have to go a little further down here than I'd like in order to get to the, the damn bonfire, so let's go. If you want to just homeward bone out, go for it, but my goal is to not have to do that jump again. 
as much as possible. So, yeah. We could climb down, or we could just, you know, cat ring down and not take any damage. So there's that. Ah, uh, cat ring, you're great. Or, I'm sorry, silver cat ring, you're great. Uh, the cat ring was in Demon Souls. And, um, you remember how in Demon Souls, when you put on the cat ring, it had that picture of, like, the black and white cat, and it was kind of, like, sad looking, and they, they replaced it with, like, a generic, like, outline of a cat picture instead of the cat, and everyone was sad. <clears throat> and then they found out that at the, uh, end credits of the game, the cat was still there. Uh, he was, like, on a, he was, like, on a wanted poster on a tree in the end credits. Well, it was pretty funny, actually. Okay, let's go down here. There is... I thought there were enemies down here. They might come barreling out of the woodworks. Token of Spites. Uh, those are for a Covenant, I do believe. Yeah, that's for uh That's for a Covenant. Okay, so down here. See all these statues? These statues suck. They spit poison at you. Yeah. So... When we come down here later, I'm going to tell you the same thing I'm telling you now. Kill these things, otherwise they'll poison you. If you don't want to use your main weapon... Ah, I died of freaking poison damage. <laughs> Kill me now. Uh, game, you're the worst. Uh, uh, why me? What did I ever do to deserve this miserable, poodly existence? Well, how many souls did I have? <sighs> Round two, motherfuckers. Round two. Yeah. Game. I thought you loved me. Apparently, you don't. I don't want to. I don't want to have to do these damn drops again. I mean, now that we've done it the first time, it's not that bad, and we know where everything's at, pretty much, but still. Actually, I don't think we actually had that many souls, now that I'm thinking about it. But it's the principle of the matter. I want my stuff back, because, well, I do. I probably could have uh, turned to my, my bone dust and gotten... Um, A nice chunk of healing that way. And I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Shit. Yeah, let's turn on our bone dust. Oh, we don't turn it into the... The Emerald Herald. We actually just burn it at the bonfire in Majula. If You can't burn it anywhere else. You have to burn it in this specific bonfire. So go to the burn menu, and then Sublime Bone Dust. Uh, Charred Ashen Bones, cast them into the Far Fire Majula to increase the HP restored with each use of your flask. Excuse me. They say that these are the remains of a saint who cast himself into the bonfire, but we'll never know for sure. For soup and ashes tell no story. Uh, you can also burn a human effigy in there, as we saw. So, the reason for that is, let's say you get invaded. Uh, after you get invaded, and let's say you die while you get invaded, after you get invaded and you die, um, there is a cooldown on how long it is in between people being able to invade you. If you burn the human effigy, it removes that cooldown so people can uh, invade you more, I think. Oh no, never mind. I thought that... no. It makes it so it's harder to get invaded. I thought it made it easier for you to get invaded. Eh, oh well. Well, something, 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 invasion is bad. Burn bonfire. But either way, now we have a better healing on our Essence Flask. So, there we go. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking that, um... I was thinking that it made it so you got invaded more after you used it. Guess not. I feel like I took more damage there for some reason. That was weird. I don't think we did. Now, here's the question. Do I remember exactly how to get down there? Yeah, kind of. A little bit. 
Did I manage to YOLO myself right off the fucking edge of the cliff? Try this again. Wait, that means I don't have to go get my souls. I don't know how many souls it was, but I'm assuming I'm, gonna, I'm going to assume it wasn't a whole lot. So, if I assume that it wasn't a whole lot, that makes me feel better. We. I don't think I don't think we can make that jump and survive right there. If we can, I don't. Oh, never mind. I thought it was. I thought it was looking at something else. Never mind. Got you. Uh, we need to actually make the jump. There you go. Actually, that's. Is that the one we can survive? I think it is. I think it's like the one we barely survived, though. Come on. Okay, yeah. We survived. We survived by the skin of our fucking teeth. Actually, it's not that bad of a... It's not that bad of a run down here, actually. Ooh, be careful about that. Try not to fall off the edge like I almost did. Because if you do, it's probably not going to work out terribly well for you. So it's just for the best if you don't fall off the ledge like, a, like an idiot. By the way, if you don't want the traveling merchant hat on... Uh, you don't have to worry about it. I think it only adds like 1 or 2% to item discovery. Um, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, let's put on the leather armor. Uh, let's see, let's put on the Ring Lake Gauntlets. And I don't, I don't think we can... We might be able to put on the leggings. I don't, I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, and if we put on the... The bow. And if we decided to put on, let's say, the shield... Oh yeah, we, we could perfectly rock like half of the uh, Dring Lake set just for defenses. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's pop our SS Flask since I've been using my um, gems like a champion here. I mean, gems are meant to be used. So, if you have them, use them, I say. Uh, the odds of me getting that item are slim. But, I am willing to try... Until I am no longer willing to try like that. Okay, so you guys, I need to start two-handing. I just realized we have enough. Um, well, you guys give a decent amount of souls. Not, not a huge amount, but more than more than nothing. That's for sure. I don't know if this guy respawns. I don't think he does. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we have another large shard, so we can upgrade our other falchion to be plus... Yeah, we can upgrade our other falchion to be plus four. That'll be a nice little boost right there. So we'll do that as soon as we get out of here. Alright, let's go down. We went down the other path previously, so let's try going down here. Because I forgot that item existed. Human FG, that's going to be something I'll use before we go to the next area, because why not? There you go. It's good enough for me. Um, we're going to get poisoned here, so... Aren't the uh, Ring of Blades? Actually, I like having the Ring of Blades right there. It doesn't really matter where things go. It does not in the slightest. But, oh well. Grant your store HP. Let's put that on for right now. Because it won't cancel out the poison damage. But it will uh, help if we manage to get poisoned here.
Something like the uh, Winged Spear would be great for poking these things, because, you know, just poke straight forward. Uh, same thing with, like, your Katanas. The Gutter. They ask what this place is called, and, uh, yes, it sucks. So. Like I said, you don't have to worry about the, um... That's our, uh... That... One of these is our goal right here. One of these is a bonfire. Um... Yeah, you know, there is a bonfire. Yeah, uh... Okay, cool. I'll take it. You don't have to worry about, like, a poison swamp, but everything down here will try to poison you, so there's that. Also, sadly, the lantern does not yet exist, and I don't think it was in Dark Souls 3 either. I think it just went into Bloodborne, and mild spoiler alert for Elden Ring, it made a reappearance in Elden Ring, and thank God, because that makes life so much easier in that game. But, yeah, uh, no lantern in this game, so makes your life a bit more of a pain in the ass. Um... I think we might need a few more souls to get our... I need 230 more. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Oh, calm down, dude. I didn't waste your time. You wasted my life. All right, uh, let's see. Let's go... Uh, if I go here and I go uh, here... There should be some people that I can fertilize. Alright, we don't need you, so we're going to put on uh, Ring of Evil Eye plus one, and instead of that, put on our Covetous Silver Serpent. Go champ, I need you to I need you to die. Ah, I need all of you guys to uh calm down. There are too many of you. There are entirely too many of you. You guys all suck. Uh you. You're my uh Perfect. Uh we needed nine hundred and eighty so we can kill like okay I need you guys to not all come after me alright I can't use the bonfire alright I'm stuck Game, you're the worst. Okay, uh, this might still work out for me here. Um, eventually. It might not work out fantastically, but it might work. Okay, luckily they can't, like, double hit me. So, that's saving me from, you know, certain turtle death. Okay, we're doing we're doing okay. We can survive this if I can actually stand up. I don't know why you do that weird flail if you're taking enough damage. Like it's it might be like this game's version of a uh, like poise break or something, but I'm not sure. And it's very annoying, but you deal with it. Ooh, nice. Perfect. Yeah, it's a shame they only give 300 down here compared to, you know, anywhere else they give more than that. What did this guy drop that I decided not to sit at the bonfire for to life gym? Like, the turtles upstairs give plenty of souls. And the turtles that uh, you find at the bottom of uh, where the salamanders are, they get plenty of souls, but these guys don't. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know how much the ones um, upstairs give. They might give 300, and I just wasn't paying attention. Nullify... See, it's, sometimes this pops up. Nullify human effigies effect. It might pop up after a boss to make sure you don't get evaded, like, after a boss or something. I'm not entirely sure, but... Uh, 
I want to see how much this uh, Turtle Knight gives me, because I don't think I paid attention to how much he gave us. Not that it's a huge deal, but I just want to try, just to see how much we get. Just because we can. Also, uh, you... Get wrecked. Alright, and just so I don't have to deal with you either. The less I have to deal with any of these guys, the better. It might be that the ones downstairs are just like the stronger turtle knights for some reason. No, you give you give a fat chunk, huh? Okay, I'm curious real fast. Uh, I don't need to do this, but I'm going to because I can. Uh, now I was gonna say maybe kill this guy a few times, get the level and the upgrade, but we would need to get um, we would need to kill that guy like three times. So, not gonna deal that. We'll just, we'll just use the extras to buy more life gems since we are running a bit lower on that. But yeah, let's go upgrade our Falchion to plus four. And the next episode, we'll head off into uh, the Lost Bastille. Or, not, I'm sorry, not the Lost Bastille. Uh, Hyde's Tower of Flame. A lot of people have trouble pronouncing that name because they pronounce it Heidi or Hade or something. But that guy up there, he pronounces it for you. Pretty early in the game if you sit there and talk to him for 20 minutes. So, you should know how to pronounce it, and if you don't, well, that's fine. Uh, I'm tempted and thinking about upgrading uh, you just to have a backup weapon, because as you can see, this also has the B scaling and strength, or dexterity, so it'll end up, um, it'll end up pretty strong, actually. Let's see, 120, 132. What's the scimitar at? So yeah, it looks like it looks like it'll be roughly the same as the, uh, the scimitar. So not quite as good, but still still good enough. Um, we need one more titanite shard. We don't have that though. Okay, but yeah, I like having access to spear if I need it. So good stuff. Um, I know. Actually, you know what? Hang on. Oh, you're the. Uh, you're the pursuer. Let's go do one more thing. Yeah, I, I know we're doing everything this episode. I want to go drop off that uh, smooth and silky stone at the uh, the birds and see if they give me anything. <clears throat> they probably won't, but if they do, that'd be nice. Like, they might just give me a uh, an upgrade material, or they might give me like a human effigy or something. Um, so, I, like, they can give some good stuff, but they're not guaranteed. So. Luckily, they're easy to reach. They're, like, right here, I think, aren't they? Yeah, this is them right there. And we could go unlock that statue and go down there where that ogre is, but I don't want to do that just yet, because there is a... Uh, there is a SS Flash shard down there, but there's also some other stuff down there that uh, I'm not terribly concerned about doing at the moment. Poison stone. That'll infuse your weapon with poison if you uh, talk to the uh, the blacksmith in the area that we just unlocked. So neat. Uh, it's a shame we don't have anything else to drop off. You can drop off a prism stone and get some items from them, but it's like the crappy tier item. So, like, you might actually get rubbish as an item from them if you do that. <clears throat> so you'll get something, but it won't be worth a damn. So, oh well. But either way, that should be everything, except for grabbing these last couple, uh... See, there's people playing online, I don't know why they don't want to... I don't know why they don't want to, you know, co-op with me. I want to co-op with somebody in this game. Oh, well. I'll survive. Uh, Merchant Hag, Dementia, I need something from you, you have, a. Uh... 
some of those cool. Alright, cool. Uh, so next episode we will go to Hide Tower of Flame and take stuff out there. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, have a good one.